Okay, I'm gonna show you how to put back together the rear part of your potato. Um, let's see, what am I doing? Oh, uh, when you go to put your transmission back in, make sure that you have these seals. Just keep water, dirt, rock out from getting inside your transmission. <clears throat> It don't seem to stay in place very well. Make sure your differential's in there. Slide that drive shaft back on. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we line up that A arm pin into that anti squat block. So you just take that pin and you push it into the block. Boom. There you go, mess on that drive shaft again. Now we're going to take that tie rod and bolt it up to the transmission. There are five different mounting points. Uh, I'm using the one the farthest to the inside of the transmission on the bottom row. It's a 2mm wrench you're going to need. Or a two millimeter hex driver. That's what it is. Okay, once you get that all screwed in, you gotta do the other side. Okay, now that we got both sides here at this point, we're going to put on the differential cover case. This might be attached to a battery box. All that you really need to make sure is that you have uh, this other small seal. You need to make sure that that case cover has the toe link, that blue metal piece screwing around that dang seal Gonna make sure that your A arm kingpins are lined up. And push them into that toe link. Go ahead and see if I can. <coughs> Got it. Alright, make sure that everything's pushed down. That your bearings are in the case. And then you can go ahead and put your screws in. Once I find them. Go ahead and make sure you put both screws in. Alright, then we go ahead and grab our shock tower. <coughs> I'm gonna put that onto the trench missing case with these 
two and a half millimeter hex screws. I'm just gonna drop it. top of the shock into the sh shock tower. I'm choosing to use the outermost hole <coughs> on top of the shock tower. But again, whichever hole you choose is going to change the way your suspension works. You really just got to experiment with it until you find out what you like. Okay, now we're going to move on to the sway bar legs. You may or may not have these. <clears throat> you also don't have to have them, it just helps keep the uh, car from rolling over. Also helps keep your suspension from dropping all the way, it just depends on how you set it up. I push the sway bar link, uh, the adjustment, I push it as far up on the link as I can, just to keep the uh, wheels, not the wheels, but the control arms from dropping too far that's what's been breaking my drive shafts whenever I go over bumps and stuff. Okay, and that's how you put the rear part of your Jado all together. I'm just messing with that seal again, but <clears throat> next video we're gonna check out how to set your gear mesh. I will see you guys later. Bye. All right, Bonnie. What do we tell everybody? Say like and subscribe for more RC videos. <laughs>